Well, hello and welcome to another tutorial by Mr. Dave. Today, I am in Affinity Photo on my iPad, and I'm gonna show you guys how to recolor a black and white photo. As you can see here on the screen, I'm on my iPad and we have the final product. So let me go ahead and show you what the before looked like. As you can see here, a pretty standard black and white photo. I'm going to show you how to stylize and color the photo. The first thing we're going to do is apply a gradient map. So uh, a gradient map essentially allows you to apply various colors along the spectrum of uh, brightness and darkness, which is perfect for skin. So if we're looking at this model's face, you can see here the skin has a uh, gamut of darker midtone and lighter shades of her skin. And you'll see in just a moment as we go into the uh, gradient map, we'll apply different colors of skin tone that will seamlessly blend across the face. And it looks very natural for colorizing a black and white photo. Now, I know you're looking at that saying, that looks horrible. But I think if you look at the gradient map here and you can see we have three colors. We have the red, we have the green, and we have the blue. Blue, green, and red. And if we open this up, that's what corresponds with the map. So blue is your bright areas, green is your midtones, and red is your uh, dark areas. So, but before we apply skin tones to these, let's go ahead and make a selection for the face. So we're going to come over to our selection area. Persona is what they're called in Affinity Photo. And we're going to select the Smart Select Brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and start selecting the face just like this. Oh, make sure Snap to Edges is on. It makes it much faster. And I'm just going to do a rough edge. We're going to clean it up in just a second. All right, there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn Snap Edges off, and I'm going to go to Subtract. And I'm just going to kind of clean this up a bit. Now we're going to do the Refine option in just a moment to feather this out, but the better I can get it before we go there, the nicer it will look. Okay, perfect. All right, not bad. Oh, I see a little thing right there on her nose. Okay, perfect. All right, now at the very bottom here, you've got the refine selection. We'll go ahead and select that. And we'll click this little arrow to go next. If you think about someone's face, you wanna apply some feathering because there's not a hard line between the hairline and someone's skin. Clearly, uh, the skin fades away into the hair. So we are gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of feather. Let's just see what 2.2 looks like, okay. And we're gonna apply a little bit of smooth. Perfect, all right. And we're gonna go ahead and just hit the checkbox. And there we have it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here into our channels. And down here under alpha, that is the selection right now. I'm gonna hit the three little dots and create a spare channel. And that allows me to have that selection back in case I lose it or I wanna use it again. So now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and just long press, select, deselect come back here to the gradient map. And with the gradient map selected, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the uh, channels, to my spare channel that I created, click the three little buttons, and I'm going to load to gradient map just like that. And now we have the face selected. All right. I already have a skin color swatch that I created earlier. <clears throat> One best practice is to try and go find another photo of skin tones that you want to use for your subject. So, and I'm going to probably use the bottom one. So 154 and 85 and 38. Perfect. And then here in the middle, I actually want to go a bit darker. So I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to apply the darkest one, which is the 126. Perfect. 66 and 37. Yep. Great. And then I have found that adding sort of a grayish brown right here uh, before we get to the highlights works really well. So I'm going to use this, uh, the third one from the bottom. Uh, 141 
And what I would tell you as you're doing this is just, again, start with some colors that look pretty decent as you begin to build uh, colorization on the hair and the clothing. You're going to go back and likely tweak um, the skin tone. I find that when I do this process, I'm, 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 I'm going forward a couple steps, then coming back and tweaking the skin tones again. All right. And then uh, this last one, I tend to find sort of a brighter one. So I'll just come in here and uh, we'll do the 202. Uh, nope, 106. And 51. Okay. Something like that. Um, so I'm going to zoom out. Now, obviously, <laughs> that looks a little wonky uh, because I have the eyes covered. So real quick, if we just come into the gradient map, um, we go back to the photo persona and we will go ahead and just grab a brush and we will make sure we have, uh, a, yeah, that's good. The next thing that we need to do though, to make this look really good is we need to change the blend mode. So if we come over here, three little dots, uh, brings you to the layer options and right here it's on normal. We're going to go ahead and change this to color. Yay. All right. So there we go. So now you can see if I zoom out, it doesn't quite look right, but that's because she has black and white hair and uh, typically, you know, that wouldn't be normal. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and make a selection for the hands and the legs. So uh, it's the same process that I used for the face. Uh, so I'm not going to talk through it. I'll just turn up the music a bit and do some selections. All right, let's go. selected again what we're going to do is just come into the refine smooth it out a bit we'll bring the border down that was a big border give it a little bit of a feather not too much because I'm not blending in with hair uh, ramp of 1% perfect and again we go into the channels go to the alpha create spare channel now we have the hand Perfect. And then we can deselect and onto the legs. So now that we have that selected, uh, what we're going to do is we're first going to go ahead and select the hand. And rather than load to gradient map, we're just going to load to pixel selection. And now we have the hand selected. You can see that. And then I'm going to go down to the legs and I'm going to add to pixel selection. So now we have the hands and the legs all selected. I'm going to come back here to the gradient map. I'm going to go over. There's a couple different ways you can do this. You can use the um, paint bucket tool and just dump um, uh black on there or white, excuse me. Uh, I typically just tend to use a big brush and brush it. So I will take that just like this and uh, just make sure it's really big and just kind of paint in just like that. And we'll paint in the legs. And there we go. Once it's all painted, then I can long press and, oh, not duplicate, sorry. Uh, long press and deselect. And now we have the hands, the legs, and the face on. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, uh, if you've looked at someone's skin, you know that um, uh, there's typically like aberrations in the skin. I call it like blotchy skin. And so we're gonna do that to give it a more natural look. So I'm actually going to use an HSL and then I'm gonna take a paintbrush and with white way down, I'm just gonna do, uh, well, first let me just double click this and let's just um, get a color so that we can see. So let's do something like that. <clears throat> And uh, let's do something like that. And then let's just paint. Um, whoops, where's my paintbrush? There it is, okay. So obviously that's not gonna look good, um, but I just wanted to see it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this down. Um, there we go. So we can use like a red um, and a kind of like, yeah, like 
11 percent. all right perfect so we're going to go back here and uh, i'm going to uh, change this back to black real quick and paint that back out perfect all right and then switch back to white and we're going to go ahead and just apply a little bit of blotchy so we can kind of let's bring the flow down a bit and just we can ooh, it's a little too much Just kind of apply some blotchiness there, around there, maybe around there. Perfect. And I'm just kind of putting it where I would normally see redness. And then typically you kind of see it around the knee too, right? So we can just apply some. There we go. And that just gives it, I think, a more natural look. Um, now, if you kind of went overboard, you can always go back to black and kind of erase some of it if you want, if it's too much. The other thing too you can do is you can always come in here and apply like a Gaussian blur. Now that we have the blotchy skin, we're gonna go ahead and, and do the eye color. So for this, I use the recolor right here. And I come in and I use the black to get rid of it. And then I will grab a paintbrush. Uh, hardness at zero, and we will come in here and um, go ahead and just paint in the eye. Well, first we got to pick a color, right? So um, I'm going to give her blue. Um, so let's see here. Get something like that, and we will bring saturation down, and then we'll go ahead and just paint it in right now um, using white. And there we go. And then we'll come over here and paint this one. All right, we'll get rid of the blue on the hair there. And uh, then we'll come in here and adjust the blue that you like. I kind of like that. And we will bring the saturation down. Obviously, it's a little too much. Okay, mm, yeah, something like that. I like that, looks good. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll come in here, change this to black, and we'll use a really, and we'll just get rid of the blue on this piece of hair and clean it up. Perfect. All right, now what we're gonna do is add a highlight. So uh, this is just adding a pixel layer Going to your paintbrush, selecting white, and we will just paint something like that. Oh, that's a little too big. Let's bring this down. Yep, something like that. Don't worry about it. I know it looks obnoxious. Just bear with me. All right. So now that you have that, what you're going to do is you are going to change it to soft light. So you'll come up here to your layer options, blend modes, and we are going to change it to soft light. Here it is. Perfect. And then we're going to change the opacity down to something like 55%, 40. Yeah, you kind of pick what you want, right? It's sort of like, it's up to you. We'll come in here real quick um, with our paintbrush and again get rid of get rid of this sort of yeah there we go okay there we go yeah that looks nice and you play around with it you know you can have it extreme or you can have it more natural looking but it gives her eyes a nice pop all right. Cool. Now what we're going to do is the hair. So the hair is going to be a very similar process um, to the eyes. I'm going to use a recolor and uh, I'm going to just paint. I'm going to select the hair first, apply recolor, and then I'm going to go back with the paintbrush.
back and just tap to get rid of the effect. Come back here. Uh, we'll come back to our channels. And we can just load to recolor because we're only going to do it once. So we just boom. And now she's got red hair. Obviously, that's not what we want. <laughs> We're going to go for something blonde, um, but we'll go ahead and double click and we'll do something, something like that. And this is really where you can um, play around with the color you want. You also can, if you want, change this to color. Um, I, I, to me, I feel like it looks the same, but it's up to you. Um, but you can apply that. And then again, you just whatever color you want. So something like that. I like that. Yeah, and just zoom out and kind of look at it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And you can see now that the hair is colored, the the face is starting to look a little more natural, um, whereas before it uh, not so much. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is now the coat, and the coat is exactly the same as the hair. We're going to apply a recolor. We're first going to make a selection. We're going to apply a recolor, and then we're going to color it in, and then we'll add some overall curves. So. Because you've seen this process multiple times, I'm just going to turn up the music, make the selection, and then I'll be back. In the original photo, I had blue, but let's say I just changed my mind and I decided, you know what? I want her to have a green coat. That's where I'm going for today, right? So there you go. We can have a green coat or I can give her, you know, a yellow coat. Um, just whatever you want to do. I, I love recolor. Once you've made the selections and the adjustments, you can play around with it and get any color that you like. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply some adjustment layers. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is add a levels. And we will just bring the black up a bit and bring the whites down a bit and there so we can turn that off and on and you can see the difference here it's subtle but it definitely gives it that nice contrast uh, and then next i will add a curves i tend to add curves to almost all of my photos um, in this specific example i'm using curves to create sort of that washed out look um, that you see on a lot of photos today so we will go get ourselves a curves and to do the washout look, you typically pull down the blacks and push up the whites just like that. Um, perfect. And again, we can come back here and you can kind of see the before and after. It gives it that little faded effect, starting to bring it together. And then we're going to add some LUTs. Now, and see, that gives it a nice kind of um, saturated or desaturated look. And I'm going to go ahead and just bring it down a bit. There we go. Perfect. And uh, again, I tend to use more than one let. So again, just something like that. <clears throat> there we go. And um, there's your final. So there we go. We have the final product. Um, you've got sort of your before. We'll just kind of go through the process here. So you've got your background. We apply a gradient map. We add some blotchy skin. We recolor the eyes, give it a nice little pop get the hair color in there with some highlights, we color the coat, and then we sort of start to stylize our photo. And there is the end result. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, if you liked it, press the subscribe button, 